Hello everybody, so I want to do this in English also, even if you will perhaps not come to Brussels for my dance classes, but I wanted to show you around. I just came to Brussels today to have a look at my dance class or room, how do you, studio, because it is in renovation. Oh, it's not mine, I'm renting it, but anyways, I've been uh, giving classes here for over 20 years and so it feels like it's mine and I'll, I'll, I'll turn out the camera so you can have a look so it's in renovation don't look how it looks now but what I love for Belgium for Brussels is that it is so much light and um, yeah they are renovating it all it needs renovation so this is the entrance and then they are is my radio <laughs> and then yeah it's quite a big a big uh, studio isn't it so here they had a tatami so it still has to be taken off oh hello mitsuko look look i'm so happy that i can continue giving classes here because i i thought i couldn't it, it, there is a new landlord and uh yeah, we did. We were not even sure that we could keep it for giving the dance classes, but they start next. Yeah, <laughs> next week. I'm so. Oh, yeah, you miss it. I miss you, Mitsuko. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, Mitsuko has been my student for I think also like 15 years or something. So she knows very well. Mitsuko's place was just behind me on my right side. So here was I teaching my dance, and here was Mitsuko. <laughs> And Mitsuko, I still feel it when I'm teaching my dance classes. I feel this is your space. So, <laughs> so good. Mm, let me turn the camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I, I love, I love that we can do this on a distance to, to even have a video like this and see people on the other our half of earth in japan <laughs> it's, what time is it in your place mitsuko now here we do have it's 12 o'clock ah <laughs> yeah me too <laughs> so for everybody else who will be seeing this video or will be watching uh, later uh, this is this magic place and i have been telling the story in french so i oh eight eight o'clock in the evening <laughs> yeah good it's already dark then i would like to um tell a story because you will see that this studio and, and perhaps some dancers here can completely relate this studio here is like not very modern and it, it will be renovated i don't know what this renovation will look like but um when i learned belly dance long yeah a long time ago I uh, had just been into belly dancing from September to January and my uh, Lebanese dance teacher, she said, Gudrun, you have to go to the dance guru in New York. And as I like traveling and I, I like dancing, and this was a big challenge, I went. But what she did not tell, and I did not know, this was a workshop only for professionals, so I was completely lost. Uh, you can imagine after four uh, months of dancing, I was nowhere. And th this was a big a place in, in New York like here and there was 30 women in this dance class and I hide it just behind because I felt so like my god I'm a total beginner here but anyways what I wanted to say is uh, this I went there and even in uh, opening the door downstairs and then taking the stairs I thought what is this place this is not a dance studio. It was so old. It looked like having 500 years old, I don't know. And it was not clean. And it, everything was kind of broken. Uh, the mirror was broken. And the, for getting into the door, it was like you, you didn't have a, how do you call that? Everything was like completely broken and rotten and what it was. But this place had something so magic, so incredibly magic. I could feel when I stepped in there, this is home. It feels like home. This is where I'm, 
meant to be and I'm still getting these goosebumps and then there was this teacher Bobby he was sitting in the corner with his percussionist and he was smoking and he was kind of big and and then he was shouting at us he was like you should do he was shouting and sometimes when uh, women were like not paying attention I I didn't yeah and he was angry and he he, he sent them out the room but he was such a um, it's incredible. He was so much um, caring for the dancers. He wanted to get the best out of us. So everybody was hooked. And what was special about this place is that it was a studio, a no, a very old studio in, in New York, but famous dancers had trained there. And you know what? You could feel it. You could feel the energy of these people, the dedication, the, the you could feel the intensity of the love for dance. And so when I come to my room here, the Sal uh, Harmony, I, uh, yeah, you didn't know the story. Yeah, yeah. And I think I've been teaching here for about, um, I think 15, 20 years, but 20 years, I think, perhaps more. I feel something like that. I feel the magic of, of this place here where so many of my students came and they are coming back sometimes after 15 years and and everything which we have been doing here the rituals the healing rituals the sacred feminine thing which um, was not there in the beginning but the oriental dance on its own it's already so 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 magic so yeah and i'm i feel very fortunate that i could keep this room to continue teaching and um, as uh, you might not know, Mitsuko certainly does not know. Uh, I'm also teaching at night today. Now, I do have next week, it starts at uh, 6 o'clock in the evening, the Oriental Dance, and then at 7 o'clock in the evening, the Chandra Dance Your Life. Uh, we are doing rituals, we will be doing women's circles, we will be doing guided dance meditation, somatic coaching, and so many magic things, and um, I cannot wait. I'm looking forward to that. Oh, for the moment when I'm going uh, to, uh, to my Facebook or Instagram, I hear all these wonderful music, and I'm just already dancing in my head. So I hope everybody who sees this video and who is uh, uh, craving for some dancing will come and try it out. It is quite, quite special, quite magic, actually. Yeah, and um, Mitsuko, you are doing um, Japanese dance, I saw. This is so different. Looks like really very intense, internally intense for me. Yeah, dance is the most beautiful thing, I think. You know, we dance because we are in joy. We dance because we need to heal. We dance because we want to be part of the dance of the universe, the dance of the stars, the dance of nature. And dancing is connecting to the beauty inside, to the light inside, to everything which is joyful and which needs and wants expression. Dance is an art and dance is like really everybody should dance. I think <laughs> it saved my life actually. It really, 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 really did. So, I wish you a very nice day, and it's a cool. I'm so touched that I see you here. <laughs> mm, have a nice day, everybody, and see you next week.